Hi everybody, it's Karen here from tuppenscoloured.co.uk and thank you very much for joining me today. Uh, this is the card that I'm going to be making today. If I show you, the dragonfly's wings open up and uh, you open the card through that little slot there. Uh, now, I saw this design by a demonstrator named Rachel Tessman and uh, this is my take on it, so uh, stay with me and I will show you how I made it. Here are the supplies I'm using to make my card today. Uh, my card base is a piece of basic black. I've got the full width of A4 and I've just cut it down to five and three quarters of an inch. Uh, I'm going to cover that with a piece of Share What You Love designer series paper and I've cut this to three and three quarters by five and a half. I've got some pieces of card for uh, stamping on and for die cutting. So I've got some very vanilla, some basic black and another piece of the Share What You Love DSP. For my card insert, uh, I've decided I'm going to cut down one of our envelopes because I want the, the thinner paper. So this is a very vanilla uh, envelope. To stamp, I'm going to be using the Dragonfly Dreams stamps and I'm going to use Memento Tuxedo Black ink. I'm going to colour it in with some shades of blue. So I've got some uh, Pool Party, Pacific Point and Coastal Cabana Stamp and Write markers. I've also got my Wink of Stella pen, my classic label punch, my dragonfly dies, obviously, and my uh, layering shapes, stitched shapes, I should say, uh, dies. And one other thing that I'm going to use, not a stamping up product, I'm going to use some mica powder, and this is Perfect Pearls interference green. I'm going to begin by scoring my card at three and a quarter inches and again at seven and a quarter inches. I'm taking my card and I'm folding it so that the longer edge is on top and I'm just going to measure halfway along the card so uh, with my ruler on the folded edge, I'm going to mark a line two inches on that side and two inches from the other side. And now I'm going to join those together with a pencil line. And that's all going to be covered up, so you aren't going to see it in the, in the finished card. And now I'm going to take my classic label punch and I'm going to line it up with that pencil line and I'm going to decide whereabouts I want that to be and when I'm happy with, with that I'm just going to punch it out. Now I need to make this a little bit longer otherwise the dragon work fly won't fit so I'm just lining it up again and I'm trying to make sure that I keep it completely lined up with my first punch and punch out that other piece. To help me stamp, I'm going to be using my Stamparatus today. So because it's a photopolymer stamp, um, I'm going to be using my foam mat. And I've already die cut out the dragonfly in some very vanilla card. So I'm going to use this piece as my template to help me line everything up. I'm just going to hold that down with my magnet. And now I'm going to fit my very vanilla piece back inside the space and I'm just going to line up the wings with where I'm going to want them to do to go sorry now because it's a photopolymer stamp um, don't necessarily need a stamp apparatus for this but it does make things a great deal easier so I've got my colors of inks I'm starting with the pool party and just stamp that down Okay, and if it's not perfect, do you know what? The great thing about the Stamparatus is you get another go at it. Okay, now you can do this with uh, just your clear blocks, but the Stamparatus makes life 
so very much easier. So a bit more of the pool party. And this stamp uh, does give a watercolour effect. Whoops, pen got away from me there. Okay, so this time I'm going in with the Pacific point on the tips of the wings. Okay. And a little bit more. I'm just playing with it until I'm happy with the effect. Pick it up, pop that in. And... Uh, yeah, I think I'm done now, so I'm just going to clean my stamp up with my Simply Chamois and just going to add a layer of sparkle with my Wink of Stella. Okay, and that's me done with stamping the dragonfly. And while I've got the Stamparatus here, I may as well do uh, the stamping of my sentiment for the uh, for the inside of my card. So I'm going to use uh, Memento Black Ink for my sentiment and just inking it up with lots of light tapping and just press down. Now you notice that I've got ink onto the base of my Stamparatus there. That's not going to matter. Now I'm going to put my stamped insert into my card base. So I'm going to use my liquid adhesive because that will give me some wiggle time. And whoops. And I'm just going to line that up on the inside of my card and just move it until it's where I want it. And now just set that on one side for the glue to dry. I have the more intricate dragonfly die cut out of basic black card and I've got my perfect pearls, my iridescent green mica powder and I'm just going to begin by giving the dragonfly a jolly good coat with the powder and making sure I've got plenty on there and then brush away the excess with my big brush. And I'm now going to put my liquid adhesive onto my uh, very vanilla dragonfly. So just putting some tips on the wings as well as down the body. And now I'm just going to bring my basic black intricate piece and stick that down over the top and doesn't that look just amazing with my card closed i can see my very vanilla background through the slot and um, the dragonfly when it's in place will cover up a lot of it but it's still visible so i am now going to be super fussy and uh, do a lining of the matching DSP. So I am going to be super, super picky and I'm going to do some pattern matching here. Now it's a nice busy pattern so it's not 100% uh, essential that I do this but I'm just being super, super, super fussy. So I've got things lined up. I'm going to take my pencil and I'm going to mark the top and bottom of the slot. And now that will uh, show me where I need to line up my die and I'm going to take that over to the big shot and cut it out. Okay, so now I'm back from the big shot and I have my uh, my die cut oval, stitched oval I should say, and I'm just going to line that up again with the, the slot, a little bit of liquid adhesive onto the back and the liquid adhesive will give me that all important wiggle room so that I can see exactly where I want to put things. Just straighten that up a little bit, wipe away the extra glue and now I just need to bend up the wings on my dragonfly so that they will fit through the, the gap in the front of the card and again with my liquid adhesive on the back, close up my card, pop my dragonfly into place 
and give the adhesive time to dry. I want a sentiment for the front of my card as well as inside so I've stamped it onto a piece of very vanilla and I'm just taking a ruler and a craft knife and I'm just trimming this down so that I get a, a fairly skinny strip. I've cut a strip of DSP, um, it's a little bit longer than my sentiment and I'm just checking how long I want that to be and I'm just going to just snip into the ends to give them that nice kind of banner appearance and a little bit of liquid adhesive onto my DSP and it's just an off cut from the, and it's the same pattern actually, as you can see from the reverse just the other side of it and I'm just checking does it fit and trimming the paper to match the, the flag I've already got there and a little bit more of my liquid adhesive and pop that onto the front of my card and there is my finished uh, dragonfly closure card and um, I'm really pleased with the way this one turned out and uh, just open up the card again. I really like that uh, that dragonfly on the inside of the card as well as on the outside. Let me just close it up again. And uh, well, there you are. So I do hope that you've enjoyed this video and if so then I'd be thrilled skinny if you would click that like button or even subscribe to my channel. I will be posting more very soon. But for now, thank you very much for joining me, and I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.